Hello! Welcome! Uh, we're back. It is New Game Wednesday. Uh, we're back to check out a new game. Let me move something around real quick. The sound might cut out just for a hot second from the game while we fix this. Boom! Welcome! Okay, hello. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're back. Uh, we were planning to check out Pathologic 2 today. Um, I think we're going to kick that one more week. So we'll, I, was, I was got it all set up, but I think we're just going to wait one more week before we get to that. And uh, today we're going to take a look at a different new game. Uh, this is John Wick Hex. Petey, what is this game? Why are we playing it? I don't know very much about this game. I love Keanu Reeves. I love John Wick. Uh, my understanding is this is a strategy game uh, where Hades... We could do Hades later if we hate this game. How's that? <laughs> let's let's check out John Wick Hex. I shouldn't say that. That's bad showmanship. I should just say no. And then later if we do do it, you'll be like, oh good, he did it. Even though he said no. Instead of saying maybe. And then if we don't do it, y you understand. Uh, so we can play Operator, the core game as designed. The text is too small. This is my first note. I know it's a stylistic choice, but I got a problem with it. Or you'll have only five seconds to choose your next action is expedited. Do Operator. Some time ago, before Helen, presumably Mirren. Character creator, Fuck. choose your Keanu Reeves. Oh, we gotta do speed Keanu Reeves. Fuck. He's quite the imposition, is he not? Surely you must have known our disappearance would not go unnoticed. Oh, sure. I assumed your high table would try. Put up a contract. Which Keanu do you want to be? Oh yeah, speed Keanu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, everything's gonna be real cool. I, I want to be him. With the no badge and the shirt. Not doing any maps. None. Nobody knows about this place. That's probably why your friend started searching at Edgar Wu's place in Chinatown. Mr. Wu is in your employ. He was. This game also has Karan in it though. That makes it very similar to Hades. I honestly believed that Hex, you, were a fiction, a myth, to keep the stuff in line. I worked hard on that, staying out of sight. Until you decided to kidnap us. Yeah, until then. Is that supposed to be Michael Caine? You have or the kitten from Keanu, also a strong choice. Or I want to be much ado about nothing, Don John Keanu. Oh, I haven't seen this one. I always did enjoy a little theater. What other good Keanu's are there? You could be, um, Devil's Advocate Keanu. You could be Constantine Keanu is a really good choice. Okay. Teach me how to play the game. No? They don't. Too much to hope for? Constantine! Oh, it is good. Camera control. Oh, now you're teaching me game? Now that I had to figure it out on my own? Bill and Ted. Neo. All, all strong contenders. What else was he in that I liked? He was in so much random stuff for so long. Um, did I like any of it? Boy, I don't know. Scanner Darkly? Oh, yeah, you could be like Johnny Mnemonic. That's one that he was in. Uh, move the camera with Wazda. Rotate it with... Oh, and he was in Dracula. Of course, he was John Harker. Um, they should make him John Harker again for the Nick Cage Dracula. Just put Keanu in there. You don't even have to age him down. Just don't explain it, that he's not a young man. Uh, rotate with Q and E and zoom with the mouse button or R and F. Dracula! I had the, the PC game version, or, or on Mac, I had the computer game version of Dracula. I didn't know who Keanu was back then because I was a little baby. But you were definitely Keanu in that game. And it did not look good. Action timing and interruptions. All actions take different amounts of time and are displayed on the timeline at the top of the screen. Oh, like, uh... Like Super Planets, whatever that game was called that we that we liked. I should not remember its name. I, I liked it a lot, but I don't remember its name. Uh, the game pauses whenever your action completes or when you are interrupted. Interruptions are caused by a new enemy appearing, an incoming attack, or by your action becoming impossible. An indicator points to where an interruption originated. Boom. Interrupt that man with a gun. Oh, okay. Throw gun. I'm boned now. I don't have a gun anymore. What was I thinking? Attacking enemies. <laughs> Click an enemy with the left mouse button to interact. Actions have ranges. To perform a melee attack, get closer. Oh my God. We're already doing it. 
Enemy actions are also displayed on the timeline below yours. Plan using the information they provide. Okay, so we've we've staggered him, basically. And now we need to take him down. Oh my gosh, there's all this math that I could do. I've always wanted to do that in video game. Throw the gun. Like a sad cowboy. Pick up this the 9mm, or maybe his gun has more millimeters than this one. Do it. Can I have both? Or is this going to be like dead to rights, where I can only have one gun at a time? Yeah! I'm trying to think, are there any good games? It's in dead to rights, you don't throw your gun, but you do throw your gun away when it runs out of ammo. It's not, but it's not the same. It's not the same. Striking an enemy does focus and health damage. Melee attacks also stun enemies. I don't know anything about guns. I don't know anything about guns either. I'm not really a gun person. Some people are. I'm, no, not me. Melee attacks also stun enemies. The duration of the stun is shown on their timeline bar. Okay, so we should we should we gotta pay attention next time. Oh yeah, it made me put down my little my little pew pew gun. My throwing gun. Whatever, that's fine. Get to the exit. Overwatch, one of the characters throws his guns away when they run out of ammo, but not at people. Oh, same thing, it's Reaper, right? Throws the big shotguns away. More of that in games, please. It just makes more sense. It makes more sense than carrying, like, ten guns around. This is my throwing gun. And this is my putting in my pocket gun. Keep moving, and do not worry. The game pauses if an enemy appears. Get to the exit. Now when you say the exit, is it here? No, it's probably over here. What if the lobby scene in the Matrix, they needed all the guns because they were for throwing? It makes sense. Okay, so what is his... Let's see if we can aggro out his action. So here he's going to shoot me. I can't have that. So we got to go shoot first, and then we'll ask him some questions. Now, I got a small problem, which is that both of my shootings are going to happen after his shooting. So what we actually need to do is hide behind these dumpsters. Oh my god, it actually worked. Puzzle genius. Shoot him, take him down. Throw gun. Uh. We're going stealth. I mean, it's not really stealthy. He already went loud with his gun, but, but that's okay. Oh, what an idiot. Let's pick up the custom handgun. It seems good for throwing. The throw gun meta is huge. Yeah, nobody hears you coming when you throw every gun. Do you think this is a secret way? Probably not. This is probably not a game with secret ways, right? Okay. Intros and executions. All attack actions displayed on the timeline have an intro area gray, which denotes preparation time. Damage and costs are applied at the start of the execution area, pink. Actions may contain multiple execution points. Each one applies damage individually. Got it. Okay, we kind of observed this already. Uh, so should we just shoot this man? Oh, thank you for the uh, the light snacks for the grow mustache challenge. We're well on the way. I haven't checked on what uh, what level we're on, but it's we're making disturbing progress on this goal. Oh my god, I'm I don't have a gun to throw. Well. Okay, we have to shoot this man for real. I don't like to do it. They're beating the crap out of me. <laughs> How much damage did I take? Is this my health down here? This tiny little skinny itty bitty bar? Oh, can you see everything that's important? Yeah, my head's not blocking anything. Cool. Well, we did it. We did get shot twice, which feels like more than the optimal number of times to be shot, but that's fine. We're being creative. Should we watch the replay? I think we gotta. Oh, and look! He walks around all goofy because he's on hexagons. Do it, Keanu. Hide behind the dumpsters. Oh no! He 
He's doing it. He's like a god. This part is not like a god. Don't watch this part. Will they shoot my boy Keanu over and over? Area complete. You did a bad job. Uh, okay, continue. Welcome to the map screen. You are playing across larger environments. Wealth and ammunition persists, so play carefully. Oh, I thought health. I said wealth, but it's health. Um, for future jobs, you will need to be able to plan ahead. Okay, so I should plan to not throw all my health away in a mission doing ridiculous dumb things. Okay, like throwing the gun over and over. Let's go to the tea house. John? Jonathan? Go to the tea house. Or not, whatever. Hit chances. Some actions have a probability of success per execution, shown as a percentage. Probabilities are calculated at the moment of execution, so pay attention to enemy timeline bars. Crouching increases your chance of shots at an enemy, uh, as does waiting for them to stand still. Moving or being a small target lowers their chance of hitting you. Got it. What do you think takedown does? Let's do a takedown. And then I... How can I just make time pass? Oh, this man's gonna shoot me. Do you think we can get to the, the dumpsters in time? I guess I can see. How fast can I shoot him? There's no way he I shoot him before he shoots me. But I can throw the gun before he shoots me. And then dodge around this corner? Am I gonna be able to fit in between here, though? Keanu, can you squeeze in that little place between those cars? We gotta throw and start moving towards this guy. We gotta We gotta charge him. Dodge Keanu, Serpentine. Oh yeah! Enemy strike incoming. You can dodge by stepping out of the melee capsule or do a parry attack. Both spend focus, but you may find a moment. Uh, but it may help you find a moment to retaliate. So let's do a parry, or I could just leave. But he's a about. Oh, I'm about to be shot by somebody else. I see. How much focus do I have? I got all this focus down here. Okay. Uh, Keanu, would you do me a flavor and step out of the pill? I don't think that really worked. Okay, take this man down. F it. Now do it. Now do the thing. Your health is low. Bandages are limited. After Chinatown, you will need to stash them yourself in the planning phase. Okay, we gotta be less gun throwing. Your focus is low. Focus is unspent. Oh, I died while I was reading. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Okay, let's retry. <laughs> let's retry, and this time I think we can... Take... Okay, we can go behind this car. That's good to know. Take down this man. And then do it. How do how am I making him do the thing now though? Now execute. Now do it, John. 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 Quick. Shoot that man. Nice. There's gonna be another man here. Can I wait? Okay, that seems like it. Uh. Shoot. Take down. Throw gun. Take him down, John. Do it. Get a new gun. Does anybody have the foolhardy property of still being alive? No, seems good. Mm -hmm. 
I've detected a pink thing over here. Now the camera controls are inverted. It's not, it's really the smallest thing in the world, but it does bother me. Are they inverted? They are. Can I uninvert them? Ugh, I wish these were not so tiny. I just, I have small eyes. I can't see this from here. No, looks like audio visuals accessibility. None of these feel like rebind the controls. How many light snacks to play a Spider-Man game as Peter B. Parker? I would love that. We could play Ultimate Spider-Man on the GameCube. Or we could play, is real Spider-Man game for the PlayStation coming to PC? Your ammo's low. If you are holding magazines, you can reload. Cosplay stream. That would be a good, that would honestly be a good community goal. That's probably what most people do is stuff like that, I guess. Okay, there's a man here. I can hear his little creepy footsteps. How do I crouch? Wait. Uh. Oh my god, the roll. He was not ready for that. Get his gun. Or whatever. I'm super glad that we can do a little roly-poly move. Okay, will a man spawn from here and shoot me in the back? Reloading discards all the remaining rounds in your magazine. You can only carry one weapon at once, so picking up a new weapon drops your current one. Only player stashed weapons have spare magazines. Bandages are also finite. Okay. Shoot that man. And this man too. F me. Uh, can we break his line of sight? Shoot him. And again. But this time hit him. John, you're killing me. Use a bandage. He's full of heals. Maybe that was foolish. Oh, probably not because it's Sony. Well, they're bringing some of their games to PC though, right? Isn't that the big cool thing that like God of War is going to be on PC? But Spider-Man feels like too much. Wait, grow the mustache, then play GameCube Spider-Man and J. Jonah Jameson? This idea I like. Although, J. Jonah, Mus J. Jonah Mustache and Sin. J. Jonah Mustache and Sin basically has a, a Hitler mustache. And while I wouldn't describe myself as someone who looks like Hitler, I do look too much like Hitler to grow any kind of a blocky mustache, IMO. It might be ill-advised. We could just do a regular mustache and, and maybe phone it in a little bit. That would probably be the better way to do it. Chinatown. Enemy types. Okay, so this, what, are we, what am I thinking about this game so far? Um, it seems cool. I, I don't really see a lot of options to like vary my strategy so far also we should have watched that replay i forgot to it feels like every you know either i shoot a guy or i'm about to be shot by a guy i don't know we'll see well i'm sure that there's there's more nuance here um but not really i don't really feel like i'm making decisions right now enemies carry different weapons and have different behaviors pay attention to their names and the weapons they're carrying oh good that's life, TM. Edgar's boys are rather unpleasant, if I recall correctly. Are you, you among our kind are innocent. We are murderers, thieves, and worse. Speak for yourself. We live by a code. There are rules. True. How do I un... For those without the vision to transcend them. Ah, see, there's a man here. So this is what we're going to do. Totally different strategy, because he sees me. So we shoot this man. Stop. I don't know what I would have done differently there. Uh, we can just shoot this man too. Crouching. Low cover allows you to break line of sight if you crouch. Crouch also gives you an opportunity to roll. Rolling is fast. You are hard to hit, but it costs focus. Okay, so that's why you roll. Let's get the different gun and go through. Oh, the door opens the wrong way. I want to open the door in and smash a dude. With the, with the thing. Yes, like here. So what am I doing? Am I going to go duck? I'm going to get shot if I do this. Change stance. At least I got to get shot while being a tiny little 
short person. Yeah, I don't really get this yet. Um, was I like, was I supposed to approach that really differently? I mean, I guess we could do kind of cheesy things like trying to bait guys out of these rooms. This guy's gonna shoot me. We can we can break his line of sight. But like a lot of these situations, it feels like there's not really a different thing to be done. I could be wrong. Where is he now? Oh, he's there. I can't like see him though. Okay. Crouch. Uh. I guess we shouldn't do this because it costs me focus. Is there just like a wait command? Wait. Uh, get him. Where'd he go? He's like, actually, never mind. I poked my head in here. I don't think so. Got him. Get his gun. Dude says I was up till 9 p.m. playing Minecraft. What has my life become? Oh no! I gotta. Were you, were you playing on the server? Or elsewhere? Larger encounters. This this fight will get dangerous quickly. Remember the timeline. Use sight lines and play the odds. Remember that moving and crouching reduces the chance of getting hit. Good luck. It was worth it. Oh, good. Agreed. You know, I've played so much Minecraft in my life. I don't. I don't regret it. I'll show you on Sunday. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so how do we not die here? We got a guy here, a guy here. Is this about... Yeah, so we can just be cheesy boys. Can I... Shoot that man. And this man? Shoot him too. <laughs> the tactics. Whoa, 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 Can I leave this place? Can I... So I can shoot this guy. He's going to definitely strike me first. Change stance. Sorry. Did this waitress just kick me in the face? I don't need that. I guess... That's what happened. Okay. Get the gun. Uh, flip around and shoot this person. And I, there's nowhere for me to go. I could strike them at the same time. I can throw the gun slightly before they strike me. Boom! Clipped! Achievement unlocked. Well, we'll try to be strategy people about this. So can I just leave? Boom, area complete, survivor. I guess that means probably I didn't have much health. I wasn't honestly play paying very much attention. Let's see it. John Wick awkwardly walking around on hexagons. Good so far. Nice, the dodge. <laughs> There's the waitress, she's gonna kick us in the face. No, don't do it. What the hell? It's uh, John Wick X. It's John Wick the strategy game. That was that was our replay. Nerf Wick. He's good. Too good. All right. So right away we're starting out with no health. Um, we're gonna bandage ourselves because this person doesn't even know that I I live here yet. And let's do a takedown. Do it. One. 
Our gun does not have ammo. Okay, so we're keeping the same gun. They said ammo would, would persist. Yeah, so we're keeping the same gun from mission to mission. Has somebody appeared here who wants to kill me? Uh, keep picking it up. Uh, don't do that. Throw my current gun all the way over here. Then pick up the new gun. Shoot this person. Oh yeah! Change of heart. Achievement unlocked. Oh, what does that mean? What did change of heart mean? Kill someone using two or more guns. <laughs> yeah, we did it. I guess that is unusual. Slick! Hey, Musepoint, welcome! Wait, a pause is sometimes necessary. The pause button allows you to advance time incrementally. Right, so we could like crouch here and wait for somebody to come around this corner. Let's actually let's actually double back a little bit and leave a, a bit of space so the person doesn't just like melee us. Is someone coming? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there was no need for this. Oh, they're right here. Hello. Uh, throw gun. Have you played Detroit Become Human? I haven't. That one's like very uh, story focused, right? Because it's the same as the like heavy rain people. Correct me. Uh, that may be incorrect. Sorry, that shouldn't be. That is genuinely meant to be phrased as a question. Uh, John, get out of there. Break line of sight. Crouch. Wait for it. We have Cop Mingus, Mommy Mingus, and Free Mingus. Ooh. So many Minguses in that game. Shoot him. Good. Get the new gun. This is our version of reloading. Boy, look at all these people. The timeline. To master John Wick Hex, play the timeline. The top layer shows your actions. The layers below are visible enemies. Right, we knew this. If they are attacking you, will any of your attacks execute before theirs does? This feels heavy-handed. Maybe you should hide or be moving at the point of execution to lower the chance of being hit. All actions can be previewed on the timeline before you confirm them. Take your time before committing. But will you be good, bad or good cop Mingus? Supportive or abusive mommy Mingus? Or tyrannic or pacifist free Mingus? The possibilities. I played some of Heavy Rain, but I've never finished it. I gotta go back and do it. Hey, Zephyr, thank you for the mustache challenge. I just got a little banner that said the community challenge is 25% complete. Thank you for the light snacks. Uh, shoot this person. There you go. And this person... Shoot them too. Don't throw the gun until we're almost out of bullets. Good. Get their gun. Oh, there's a little, a little heart there. Okay, they're telling me that bad enemies have spawned all around me. And indeed, this is the case. Oof, at this rate, 20 days won't be enough? Um, so if we, if we, well, we've got 26k. So the, the, the deal is, if there is, like, leftover points to do, if we don't do it in the 28 days, we'll roll over the points to the next one. I just put it at the maximum number of days they would let me do. Um, but if there was an uh, option to do it infinite, that's that's what I would have done. Break line of sight with everybody. Then shoot this man. Then break line of sight with this nerd. Oh my god, it's working. Crouch. Wait for it. Wait for it. Shoot this person. Done. Get rid of the gun. The gun is empty. How about we strike a deal? You grow the mustache now and we'll promise to hit 100k? Uh, no, nah, no, no. Am I out? Do a takedown. This is probably a bad idea because it's going to take a long time. Exit locked. Enemies close. Okay. So actually, can I cancel that? Oh, I have to choose a destination. How do I, if I didn't like my action, how would I cancel it? Cancel action. Can I strike this person? Shoot this person. Uh, can I...
Do a push. And then you need to be taken down. There's so many dudes. But then we can hear the bear joke 10 times, lol. Nice. And Noodle says an hour and 20 minutes of bear jokes will make Piotr grow a full-blown beard anyway. It'll be a big bushy beard just in the time of, of telling all the jokes. Uh, so there's somebody here, and this is still locked. Okay, let's crouch. Our favorite stance. Wait for it. Baird? I had not even considered this. <laughs> you raise a good point. Area complete. Boom! Um, we didn't pick up the bandage. We forgot to do that, but I guess. Or maybe we'll use zero bandages? Let's watch the replay. Let's see John Wick do his thing. He puts on his bandages first. I've heard bears have beards. So, have you seen them... Um, Sun bears, because I think sun bears more than any other animals look like a person in a bear costume. They do not look like IRL animals. They're too, they're like lanky bears. It looks weird and bad. You know, it says one minute in the bear joke is one week in real life. Oh. Just weeks of my life passing every time we do it. This is actually going okay. Look, so here's this little melee encounter. We're gonna shoot this person, then push this person. That kind of works. Area complete. Cool that it ended on that drum beat like that. I'm in favor. Let's let's keep going with this for a little bit more at least. I'm I'm intrigued by this game. I'm waiting for it to show us why it's really interesting. I would say. Who made a last stand on sick ground? Safe. Nowhere in this city is safe. My people lack the protections and grand illusions of the high table. Nothing is sacred. We live outside your pageantry and false currency. So I should say, I've only seen the OG John Wick. So I don't know who everybody is here. That may be a reason that I'm ignoring the story. <laughs> okay, check it out. Watch what we're gonna do. Wait for it. This is gonna be really cool. We're gonna do a roll and a shoot. Uh. If you like this, you'll like Transistor. We should check out Transistor. It's on the list. Oh really, you should watch two and three? I might have them here. I might honestly have them and just have not watched them yet. Um, I should... Stop. Why are you just here all of a sudden? John Wick cast. John Wick, dead wife, dog, criminal bad guys, big bad evil guy. Yeah, I mean, I definitely remember that <laughs> that much. Um, oh, some good meta casting, though. You've got um, the Green Gablin. He's in it. And... Neo... And that's it. Those are the two guys in the movie. This person's gonna shoot me right in the butt, but not if I break line of sight. John Wick versus Hellboy. Honestly, I would watch that crossover. If it, John Wick versus Constantine, or sorry, Hellboy uh, plus Constantine would be a better mashup movie, just because like genre-wise they're more similar. Maybe not. Maybe the, maybe that is a detraction if they're too similar. But that would be my preferred Keanu plus Perlman mashup. Or just put them both in Pacific Rim again. Reason to fight? Hellboy is a cat person. True! <laughs> okay, so we have a gun, but it's empty. There's a man with a non-empty gun I'm very envious of, trying to shoot me. You've been spotted by this person over here. Okay, mercy. We're like a thousand miles away from that guy. Positioning. Take down and push let you move John Wick and or the enemy through an attack. Use it to separate enemies, close gaps, or block sight lines. Yeah, I'm waiting for the chance to, like, throw somebody in the way of an attack. Okay, so we gotta grab this person as soon as they show up. Uh, wait for one tick. Grab this person, do a takedown.
Do it. No? Take down. Then this person needs to have a gun thrown at them. We gotta close the distance. And take them down too. Or we could strike them probably. Strike will work and be faster. Give me his gun. Boom! We're doing it! Noodle says, I think Hellboy takes the cake. Hellboy's already faster, stronger, and more resistant than regular humans anyway. Yeah, in the comics, Hellboy literally can't be killed. Spoilers for the comics, but Hellboy is is immortal, essentially. We find out at some point. Uh, he, he could fight and fight and fight for basically ever. He gets, he gets impaled by like a big monster's giant crab leg. Goes right through his chest, and then he, he still lives afterwards. Giant Spatch just says there's going to be a Sandman Netflix show, right? Constantine's in the first arc of that. I haven't read any Sandman. Um, they're supposed to be very good comics, though, no? Give him a little crouch. Maybe John Wick can put up a fight, but bullets run out. Yeah, Hellboy doesn't really doesn't really need bullets. He has the gun with really big bullets, but uh, it's not really his his preference. Get him again. New gun. Okay, this is kind of going okay. Is there still somebody else here who wants me to be dead? Yes. And he can go Anungun Rama mode and break John Wick with his demon bros. But would he? But would he? Giant Spatula says it was good, but I haven't revisited in like 10 years. And Neil Gaiman is on thin ice for marrying Amanda Palmer. I see. You be careful, Neil Gaiman. We might... We might change our mind about you. <laughs> So that makes it sound like I should read the comics ASAP, just in case. Okay, so I can hide here. Quick. Because they can't see me through these, uh, or they can only see me through the windows. We're out. Enemies close, that's not true. I'm away. Did you read American Gods? I didn't. My brother once told me he once participated in an American God's LARP where somebody was Santa Claus. Uh, I can't remember who he was. I think he was like the trickster raven god or something. Brother reveal? And here he is! Come on in! <laughs> no, could you imagine? Uh, <laughs> oh my god, what? Yeah, he did like a LARP where they were all different deities in like American because like the American gods rules I guess I only know from hearing about this right but the idea is the more people who like believe in you or worship you the more like like Neil Gaiman American gods LARP I think so and so somebody was like Jesus and he was like some kind of raven trickster god um, somebody was Santa Claus in it I already said that yeah I think so I think it was American gods but not a hundred percent on that Citation needed. AKA Concentrated Piotr. Raven Trickster God? Yeah, he was like a Native American god or something. I can't remember. He also did, he used to do some LARP stuff when he was in college. I used to hear about it. The other one he did was, they did, um, they reenacted the assassination of Julius Caesar and he was Brutus one time. Did he have horns? Was it a deer? It should have been a deer. I'm really... The, the deer stock is high right now for me at, uh, after playing Outer Wilds. Okay, who's, who's here to kill me? Why can't I go through this door? Why are you guys being dicks? Just let me go through the door. Is there somebody here? Enemies close. They're not. It's not true, game. Oh my goodness. There they are. Okay, now can I leave? <laughs> I really want to see this replay, the part where John Wick, a skull deer. Yeah, Raven the Trickster is a thing in the PNW, I think. I don't know PNW. The, 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 Pan Gaiman Neil universe. Oh, Pacific Northwest. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was probably it then. All right, let's see John Wick. <laughs> he didn't know, he didn't know that person was there. 
Do it, John. It's a little awkward that, like, some of the animations jump around and stuff, but that's fine. It's fine. Okay, Raven the Trickster makes sense then, yeah. Boom. And now I'm lost. Now John Wick is like, where do I go? Did you go to the LARP as Keanu? Ugh, oh, I wish. Keanu's hair is a very specific shape that's different from the shape of my hair and makes it hard for me to cosplay as Keanu. I tried to dress as Constantine for Halloween one year. I have a very hard time doing the little... Because his hair, like, peaks in the middle, right? And so he can make, like, his little waves come out of the peak. But my hair is, like, a square in the middle. Uh, <laughs> so I just can't really do it. Um... He also says his unarmed walk looks like he desperately needs to take a shit. Yeah, his, his, his walk animation in this is a little awkward. Lots of people believe he's immortal. So if it works in American God's rules. Oh, of course. So he would have powers. That's what hair gel and wigs are for? Yeah, wig probably would have been the way to go on that one. Um, let's continue. We're going to need a new gun. Oh, the boss is here. Oh, I want to see what a boss fight looks in this, like in this game, definitely. Okay, there's a bandage here. Hint, hint. Oh yeah, we used to play Constantine or Castiel cosplay at comic conventions. Oh, do they both dress like with a, a coat and a, a tie? Most people were Castiel. I don't know who that, what, what, what that person is from. But yeah, they're all wearing kind of the um, uh, Columbo outfit, right? Yep, right. Meet John Wick as John Wick. Oh my God, the crossover we need. Supernatural. Oh, so I went to a, um, when I was in high school, I used to go to Comic Con every year and, uh, I went to like a Supernatural panel one time. I went with my friend who was really into the show, but I didn't know who any of the people were. I was like, this is being wasted on me. I don't know this show. Uh, let's move and fight this person. Noodle says, I have a vendetta against Comic-Cons because I saw an ugly Sasuke as a kid. What? <laughs> oh, that's a good reason. Yeah, ugly Sasuke ruins, ruins Sasuke for me. There's a lot of that. I think it's kind of nice, though. It's nice that, like, there are really amazing, at least when I was there, y you know, 15 years ago or whatever, there were really amazing costumes, but also there are people who just, like, obviously made their costume. I mean, everybody made their costume at home. But, you know, their, their costume looked way more arts and crafts than, uh, than, like, professional costume designer. And I find that sort of charming. I don't know. Let's take them this person. Take them down here. Uh. Oh, I see. The takedown is moving me. Ow. Move in. Quick. Strike. Get their gun. Is that my old gun? Is this the empty gun that I just threw? No, okay, it's a more different gun. The Sakura was hot though. Ah, uh, but I was a kid and was very shy to take a picture with her. Oh no! The missed opportunity. Did you have to take a picture with ugly Sasuke instead? <laughs> just like the... I don't have the courage to take a picture with the, the hot so uh, Sakura. I have to be... Ugly Sasuke is like my consolation prize. <laughs> Somebody behind me. When do they shoot me? Break a line of sight. Gun running out. Music a little loud for my taste. Let me, let me bring this down a teeny bit. Um, sorry, just real quick. Noodle says, yes, luckily that was on my dad's old stolen phone and wasn't posted on Facebook, I hope. Oh, thank goodness. Just, you got to destroy the evidence for something like that. Yeah, destroy all the evidence. Agreed. But now, only problem is I don't seem to be able to play this game anymore. Okay, there we go. Am I getting lined up?
Shoot him. Boom. Good luck with that crime scene, you phone robbing scum. They listen, the punishment fits the crime. They're gonna look at the phone and see the picture. Bosses are different. Heart. Bosses are different. Heart. Uh, oh, that's kind of sweet. Bosses have more health. Their shots cannot be interrupted like other enemies. Their high focus makes them harder to shoot, so deplete focus via melee to make life easier. That's good to know. Melee attacks do no health damage to bosses. Wow, bosses have really different rules. Okay. But do decrease their focus and cause stuns. So we want to wear them down with melee. Can I get a different gun before we go in? Oh, this gun's almost empty. Uh, shoot. Well, this is kind of effed. I have only the empty gun. Wait for him. We gotta parry his strike. Am I stunned? Pursue, maybe. Take him down. Uh, strike him. And again, take him down again. Strike him. Okay, it's working. Am I supposed to, like, finish him off with a gun? Poor man, back in sternum are dust now. Oh. Yeah, we just keep smacking this man. Is there anywhere I can push him? Should we go for the gun? Well, he's probably waiting for his focus to come back, right? Throw the gun. Pick up the other gun. Shoot him in the back. Move. Move out of the way. What is this duel of us just breaking line inside of sight around this door? Uh, do it again. I'm dead. Let's try that one again. Wow, okay, we got wrecked. How am I gonna do this more different? I think that we gotta make sure we go in with a full gun. Is gonna be huge. If I was a betting man. And also we'll, we'll fill up our health. I think our health was full, but we'll just make double sure. And we'll, we'll try to soften him up, drain his focus with melee attacks, and then shoot him in the back or whatever while he's, you know, running away from us. Stop. Aw, oh, man. Okay, go get... I'm not crazy about people like... I guess they're spawning through entryways. It feels like people are just like spawning behind us all the time. So I guess we should use a bandage before we go in, right? Just be fully healed. We got a pretty... I mean, relatively speaking, a full gun. Pick up this one. Up, oh, it's happening. He missed. You missed, but now I have no gun, of course. No, I missed too. Okay, what's the plan?
Because we're going to have to melee him and then grab the gun. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, okay, we broke line of sight. That's good. We can push him before he shoots us. Which will interrupt his action. Take him down! Shoot him. And then do another takedown? I mean, do we just keep slamming this man? Oh my god. He's a bullet sponge. Like, is this wrong? Am I doing this the wrong way? No, we did it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see that, <laughs> that epic boss encounter again. Oh, we gotta see that again. Yeah, you're right, Noodles. He does look a little bit uncomfortable when he's walking unarmed. John Wick angrily asking people where the bathroom is. Okay, here's the boss. Ready? Boom! He shot at me, but he missed. <laughs> Do it, John. <laughs> Again! Again! Oh no, the poop is crowning. He has to stand still to fight it. That's what he's doing back there. And then he finally just gives up when he moves. Poor guy. There you go, Chinatown completed. Edgar was alone. Achievement unlocked. Isn't that a game that we know of? Complete Chinatown. What other cheese did we get? Uh, and also, Sharpshooter. Earn the Al Al Alyosha... Popovich name in any location. We did it. We we earned the Popovich name. Good. Just want to see. Did we get anything else either? Not really. Uh, Chinatown. Boom. Did they give me a grade at the end? Oh, you new name earned for location. Deadly accurate aim. Wick shot true. Wasting little ammunition as he passed. We done it. Um, what time is it? Let's do some more. I'm split. I'm split on doing more of this game or just jumping off to do something else. Um, have we seen everything this game is going to show us? Let's keep going. We'll, we'll do a little bit more at least. Edgar was loyal to the end. Told Wick nothing. A stronger man than many would be. That does not look good. Reason. Sorry. I from your demeanor that this was not the end We're not supposed to look at this this close. Gun. Why on earth did you bring us here, Hex? It has been wonderful catching up, I must say. But literally, Giga Chad beard. Be oh, so Giga, so Chadly. You know the key to it. This is the Giga Chad beard. Look at this. Luck. You see, the high table who rule over your hotel and the world beyond it. They're a mask, a palate facade, like all governments, over a simple truth. Power defines our place. Power defines our reality. The High Table has never been shy in this matter. All declare fealty. All must be of service. Well, maybe not all. All who wish to keep their heads? Hmm. Hmm. That's the face the he's power. definitely making. You see, they don't respect those who bend the knee. They celebrate them, flatter them, give them titles and lands and the illusion of self-determinism, but they don't respect them. Power respects power. To earn a place by their side, a man needs to demonstrate power. Is that why you plucked his oh. an attempt to demonstrate power? 
know. See, killing you on the steps of the Continental on sacred ground. No! And fearing no repercussions. That demonstrates power. They will hunt you down. The adjudicator will, will respect me and my birthright. Please continue your story. I wonder where Jonathan went next. Elysium, one of Wu's clubs. Cheap thrills and overpriced drinks. Its only admirable quality is its owner, a brawler named Osborne. Played by? Man after my own heart. We don't know. We don't know Osborne. Wick thought someone like Osborne would know where to find me. But to ask, he'd need to fight his way to the center of a fortress. I do love this storytelling style where, like, the guy's, like, telling us everything that happened. And we know what, how this is going to wrap up, right? He's going to be, like, getting to the end of the story and be like, And that's when my guys threw John Wick off a bridge. And he's definitely dead now. And then John Wick busts through the door and just, like, pops 11 caps right in him. Oh, we know that that's going to happen. We know that's what, we know that this is, this is where this is going to go, probably, right? I love it. I don't care. I don't care that we know it. Welcome to the planning phase. Oh, my God. The planning phase. Thank you for the welcome. I'm, I couldn't, I'm so pumped. You cannot save up continental coins. Okay. Use the location budget to stash bandages and spare weapons. Surplus currency is lost. Okay. Some areas are inaccessible beforehand, so nothing can be placed. Others are riskier and therefore more expensive to place items in. Custom suit tailoring is costly, but benefits you throughout every map in this location. Okay, so we can go to the tailor. That's really good. Or we can stash ammo and items around. We got $10 to spend. My bespoke tailoring, I can in increase the range of push attack by two, so we can get the, the mega push. Moving penalty... On oncoming shoot attacks. Custom suit! Go, go, go! Yeah, we got to. Definitely. Moving penalty on incoming shoot attacks is increased, lowering enemy hit chance. Or dodge costs one less focus point. Can we dodge? Is there a dodge action that I haven't been using this whole time? I think we want the super push, right? That seems hilarious. Um, let's get it. Can I get multiple? Can I also get dodge costs one less focus point? Is that a mistake? Should I stash? Expensive stash. How much is an expensive stash? We should stash stuff like at the boss, no? Like some bandages. And a gun. And then also maybe at the middle point, like here. I'm too poor for this. Interesting. Go on. What if I stash a bandage here and a gun here? And I don't know. I don't know how to do this part. So we just took a guess. Let's do it. We have the pushing suit. They gave us special push, pushing trousers. So, oh, this is the beginning? I did it backwards. Well, it's sort of fine. It just means there's going to be a bunch of crap we don't need right here at the beginning. Really? Exit. Is this going to be a mistake? Uh-oh. No! Well, F me. Okay. Fine. Well... We can just get hit a lot here. It's exciting. Open the door. There's a man. Brutal. <laughs> you hate to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Move here. Do a takedown. Is anybody else here? He's here. So instead, strike this man. And shoot this man. And take down this guy. Slap him down right there. Oh, that's where I go. That's right. I always forget. Okay. These guys did not bring a gun to this me shooting you fight. And they paid the price. Frankly. Oh! Wait. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, so... Take down and stand here. I don't think this guy has a gun. Do another takedown. Keep moving away. That guy does have a gun. 
So we gotta maybe do a mega push or a tiny push. Oh, this is so bad. I'm getting the crap beat out of me. Good thing we stashed bandages here, huh? The foresight. Okay, that did not go super well, but we did get rid of them. They did kind of dump three dudes on us out of nowhere. Hey, look, a bandage. Check it out. Watch what we're going to do. Crouch. Wait for it. Are they dead? No, we got to wait. Uh. Okay. Change stance. Go get the bandage. And bandage yourself. Maybe that was unnecessary. I don't have a good frame of reference of how much the bandage heals us for. Okay, John. Whoa, who opened that door? Aha! It was you. Take down. Good work. Probably we're... We should be saving our bullets for people who have guns. Probably. If I was a betting man, that would be the better strat here. Uh, who can see me? Oh! We gotta, we gotta do the John Wick thing and hide behind pillars, incrementally, to keep breaking line of sight. Oh my god. Okay, he's got his gun ready, so shoot him. There's just a lot of dudes, huh? No, you guys aren't going to come over here? Come on, you babies. I don't have enough focus to roll. Here we go. Do we rush this guy? Let's wait. Oh, wait, this guy must have had a gun, right? Get his gun. I think we got to rush him. Any, any way we can get him before he can get us? Oh, no, I'm going to get shot. Anything I can do here? I think we just got to strike him. We just got to eat it. John Wick just eats the bullet. Whatever. Nom, 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 nom. Doesn't even care. <laughs> shot point blank. Unimpressed. Do we want to even watch that replay? I mean, that was not a, a celebrated run. Nice. Good opener. And then here's where it all falls apart. Because I don't know that all those dudes are there at this point. I should have ducked out of this room, huh? And tried to... Just cheese them out one at a time. Would have been the move. I think... I fear that these are the kinds of strats that are going to be really successful in this game. Like, just like, running around a corner and waiting and trying to, to lure guys out one at a time. I, I can see a lot of that in our future here. Uh. Yeah, we should have been we should have been in cover there. Do it, John. <laughs> the the crouch to lure them out.
Boom. That's not how it's done. And that's how it's done. Okay. So we got a medium amount of bullets. We have a low amount of health. I think we can probably take one more hit before we bandage ourselves. An American success story. This guy can yes, dance? Though that version of the story leaves out a few unfortunate accidents. Accidents. Rooftop falls, dislocated limbs. Who's, where did this person limbs. come from? I see. I got a problem with that. Well, we're boned now. I mean, look at this. We gotta just move. And hope they miss. Okay, we got away with it. I swear that person teleported in. Take him down. And what about you? It's inverted. Oh, they're too slow for John. Their regular little attack is slower than my my big attack. We got a gun, we got health. Okay, we're moving forward. And away I go. Crouch. They're like, oh my god, two people are in this room who've been shot. I should go in and take a look for myself. Fool. Uh. There is someone over here, so we could roll out of cover. That might be kind of fun. But we can't see them still. Okay. Reminds me of a sad Russian story involving potatoes. I heard a good potato like idiom today. Um what was it? Uh Oh. Hold up. We got to we got to look at this in Microsoft Edge. It's praying for potatoes. Potatoes at the end of a hoe, maybe? At the end of a... Yeah, praying for potatoes at the end of a hoe is the, uh, is the phrase. Which is uh, praying, but also doing, doing the thing to make the thing happen. No, says the family came down one by one. Everyone who went down died. The only survivor was the youngest sibling. Is that the, the plot of John Wick 1? I don't remember. This person can't can't do anything. They got no gun. Who would do this? We got a shooter, maybe over here. Break break line of sight. Which she only did because the poisonous potato air had been ventilated enough to not instantly kill her like her family. Oh my god! Oh, so there was like, uh, something bad and poisonous with the potatoes? Jeez. That's horrible. If we wait, will he step out of cover? Boom. I should have been crouching. We got the bullets. The uh, yeah, do it. Talks in the potatoes was too much, it started leaking into the air. Jeez. How long uh, are you supposed to keep potatoes for? Just out of unrelated interest. No, he's gonna strike me first. We gotta do a parry. Or we could leave the... the thing. Oh, I can refocus as an action. I hadn't noticed that. 
Probably not more than six months in perfect conditions. Okay. Now I am going to get shot in the back here. Anything that I can do... We probably should have ducked. I don't know. Maybe. We gotta use a bandage after this fight. Maybe even right now. Is anybody trying to shoot me in this room besides this guy? Boom. We're bandaged up. Can I just ignore this man? Do they want me to kill every enemy in every area? I think they they might. Got him. Got him. Oh, this isn't the exit, though. There's the exit. I bet I'm not the only one left in this room. I bet I'm not alone in this room yet. Maybe? Boom, we're out. Okay, you don't, you don't have to... Okay, so you don't have to kill every single person. They just... It's like sleeping in Minecraft. They just can't be too close to the exit, I guess. Let's watch that. Let's watch this replay. Okay, opening not super great. Threw the gun and it didn't do anything. But then we realized these people were unarmed and it became a bit of a cakewalk to take them out. Then this hilarious part. Good work, John. <laughs> Shoot him right in the belt, fine. I wonder what it's like to try to program like this, you know, the camera angles and stuff for a replay like this. Must be interesting. Must be an interesting problem to work on. Alright, and so we ignore that one guy. That one guy got lucky. We just walked away from him. Hey, and Wisebird, thank you for the uh, light snacks. Contributed to the Grow a Mustache Challenge. What a delight. Elika will be so so happy. She's going to love those. There's a really good GDC talk about how they did the AI photographer in FF15. That's, ah, uh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I should, I, I should look for that. In Mario, in the Mario games, they just get like a weird little cloud goblin to do it, right? I guess that's one way to go. Stay back! I got a fuller gun. How come everybody's guns are only half full? What are you guys shooting at before I got here? It's strange. Do you think there's a DJ here? To shoot me? Maybe not. Okay, lots of dudes. We just gotta get here, though. But there is a, a multi-dude situation. We're gonna do it. We did the roll. Nice. Right, and so this is low cover, I guess. Somebody's here. Multi-dude situation sounds like a tag. Hmm. Yeah, I can see it. Somebody wants to filter by that. This person sees me again when I move here. But I think just, just do it. I'm so far away. What are they going to do? Shoot me all the way from over there? That's ridiculous. As if. We could try to sneak around on this person, or go be the DJ. We could be the guy in the DJ booth. 
This whole time, we were like, who's going to be the guy in the DJ booth? We didn't even consider that we could be him. Oh my god. Can they see me? Yeah, see, I have a feeling this is going to be a lot of this game. I'm so far away. What are they going to do? Shoot me with some sort of long-range weapon or something? No way. Unheard of. You hate to see it. Oh, they went down like a bunch of chumps. Oh. Who is it? Somebody a thousand miles away? No, this person. Okay, that's less than a thousand miles. We could move up and take cover. I, I'm not convinced this person has a gun, though. Yeah, they seem to be without. Which means probably we can just wait for them to stand in the open. Uh, crouch. Move and crouch. And now I got cover. So there's dudes here. And a dude coming here. We gotta take care of these people. If I change stance, all these people are gonna shoot at me. Got him. Neuro says I'm mining ancient debris right now. Uh, what the hell? Rango's mines are everywhere. Uh, yeah, Zeldorari did, I think, some pretty extensive exploration and, and mining. They seem to have a very good idea of, like, where everything is super far out in the world, too. I'm, I'm impressed. I've been mostly sticking to our little, our little hometown area. So what's the move here? Wait for it. Oh, our gun has no bullets. Okay, that's gonna be a, a small problem. Do I think we can pick this up before he sees us? Pick up the gun, quick. Shoot him. Oh, we did it, fantastic. Good work, John. Just a little bit faster than he was. So what, I can refocus? How long does that take? And he goes, that's what I do when I focus. Same move. Very realistic. <laughs> okay, we just gotta get to the end of the room. We should go actually this way, just because there's so much cover here. In case they like dump a bunch more dudes on us. Seems fine though. Seems like maybe we got all the dudes. Oh no! At least one dude! I was wrong. I was wrong. The dude dumping is not over yet. Boom! Oh, what? I was rolling. Oh no, I hit change stance instead of roll. Did I? Out of bullets. Wait for it. Wham! Uh. Get the gun before we go, because we are going to bring our gun to the next mission. So it'd be better to not bring an empty one. Are we away? Boom, we're away. Let's see it. Boom. I like his skinny little legs coming out of his big torso. I don't know, something about it. I know that the jacket is making it look like he has more of a big torso, but it kind of gives him like a, um, you know, what's his name from Emperor's New Groove? Uh, kind of a look. You know the one. Nah, he's definitely been skipping leg day. Yeah, it looks like it to me. Isma Cusco. 
No, uh, yeah, I guess Kuzco. I was thinking of the big strong guy, though, whose name I can't remember now all of a sudden. But Kuzco also. He actually is more of a Kuzco. Kronk is who I was thinking of, yeah. But you're right. He's he's overall, he's lithe like a, like a Kuzco. You know what? How do you forget Kronk? You would be surprised. It's something about when I'm streaming, I can't remember anything. Like, if I don't know the thing right away, my, my ability to recall facts by focusing is just, like, totally trash while I'm on stream. There's so many times where I've been like, what is the word? Like, where I'm trying to remember a word or something, I just can't, can't do it. I don't know. I guess that part of my brain is just occupado while we're doing this. Unknown. Alright, so we are running low on bandages, but there's bandages here, right? So we'll, we just gotta not run through them all in this next mission. Was outraged at Wick's intrusion. Break into his club. Kill his men. The young caged bear decided to fight him. Osborne's tough. A lot of good beards in this game. But he's not so smart. Beard fans take note. Okay, so what's the sitch? Is this one of these clubs that they put inside of an old church? I think that that's what we're dealing with here. Or it's just somebody's base that's in an old church. This looks church-like. Uh, break line of sight. Where's this person? There? Oh, and here's somebody too. We're kind of wasting bullets. Uh... This person does have a gun, though. Good. This person does not, though. We can just trash this person. Wait. Bam! Break a line of sight. We're, we're just, like, trying to not get shot by this dude. Okay, two guns. We got the first hit. We are out of bullets though. So, did you play Super Hot? I did, yeah. So here's the deal with Super Hot. I played Super Hot for the first time on Google Stadia because when I got, they, I did the thing where they sent me the Google Stadia controller and stuff for free. Um, and so I set it all up and I, I played Super Hot because it was free. And I was like, I don't like this game very much actually. When I was playing it, I was like, I was really looking forward to this. And it's just, it, I'm not really into it. And then I played it not on Google Stadia later, where there wasn't always a tiny little delay to everything that I was doing. And I was like, oh, this game is awesome. It really was just like trying to play it, ugh, just goes to show. Google Stadia was not a good idea. I don't know, maybe it was just too early. Maybe it's not fair to say it's not a good idea. My experience was very poor with it. Got him. But yeah, Super Hot rules. The second one I didn't like as much just because it was... I know they were trying to make it sort of like... Have more content, I guess, by being having lots of like procedurally generated missions. But I, I, I don't know. It, it just it felt like a bit of a grind. The first one was so tight, too. I just really, yeah, really liked. Yeah, this person's looking to line us up. Just go here. But yeah, it's interesting to see here that kind of... They move when you move. Being used as a strategy game instead of as a... Uh, a shooter. A first-person shooter, I should say. Does this TV give me cover? Or ba or speakers or whatever this is? Oh, look, they've got a console. Oh, what are they playing? I can't tell from the controllers what system they have. I'm going to have to say GameCube. They're playing some sweet GameCube games. Super hot. Oh, is that what they're playing? <laughs> Now, somebody's going to spawn here, too. I'm just going to have a lot of people coming behind me, but 
Maybe we can bottleneck him at this door. So my plan is move here and crouch. Oh my god, I do not have... Roll. You gotta roll, John. Is this a boss? Oh, it's a boss. John, keep rolling. Go to the bathroom. They'll never think to look for you here. Now, the they said the boss is going to be hard to hit, right? Oh, uh, change stance. I'm going to get super shot here. We got to break that line of sight at least. Wait. Grab him. I'm dead. <laughs> we got to try that one again. Okay, I didn't realize there was going to be a boss in this level. Um, I wasn't really ready for that. Also, the boss with the little minion, a bit of a pain to deal with. So we got to make sure that we take out that minion fast, I think. The boss might not have had, the, had a gun, actually. I wasn't really paying close enough attention. But he might, we might be able to juke him while we're dealing with the minions. Uh, just move, John. Ugh, still got me. I think we need to reset this, actually. I think we effed up that opening too much. Oh, we're safe scumming. Good. We did it. Oh, uh, it didn't take long. <laughs> Gotta watch those, that ammunition, I, I guess. It's gonna be the big problem here. Is someone gonna pop out of here too? Shoot, shoot. Throw gun. It's gotta be. Takedown. Oh, they, like, parried my takedown? He's fine. We're so boned. I mean, look at this. This guy's gonna shoot at us. This guy's gonna shoot at us. Take me out of here. Yeah, I don't know about this. This might be another restart, actually. I got no gun. We'll try to fix this. But I... I don't feel good about it. Oh, there's just so many guys. Okay. So, what do we want to do differently? Do we want to not be standing... Although, standing in that little place, standing behind that pillar kind of worked for us before. Is there somewhere else on this map that I want to go? Like, maybe duck into this room? I think that's what I'm going to try to do. In fact, John, just keep moving. This person doesn't know I'm here yet. Oh my god, the stealth. Are you for real? Can I do a pacifist run? I had not even considered. Did he see me? Uh, hello. There's somebody right here, though. This may be the end of our pacifist ways. This person didn't hear us, though. Oh my god, the stealth run! John Wick, known pacifist. Very famously anti-violence. Maybe a Quaker. Unknown. He wears all black, I'm just saying. It could be. Look out for this guy. Gun? Yes. That's a problem. Crouch. Can I get a shot before him? I can dodge back, though, before he does, right? Nice. Oh my god, the dodge roll. Successful. Shh. 
Shit. We gotta throw the gun. It would never throw the gun. I shouldn't throw the gun. I always want to throw the gun and it's never, it always gets us in trouble. Sometimes you just gotta live your dreams though. Oh, we're in trouble. The gun, throwing the gun immediately causing problems. Pick up this gun instead. John, you're killing me. Let's try that one again. Oh, this is tough now. It feels like... Maybe we just gotta work out the right approach here. Cause like this feels like... Whoa, 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 there's just a man here this time? I didn't know he was gonna be there. Okay, so their enemy placement at least... Is at least a little random, it looks like. Cause there wasn't a man there before, right? I like that actually. Cause I, I was gonna say, I don't wanna do a this if we just like memorize where everybody is and come up with the perfect path through shoot and no he's not gonna be able to hit us f that guy and we'll crouch here cool So where else do you guys spawn in here? Because somebody... Oh, from right here. Got it. Anybody here gonna hit me? Okay, no, we're good. I know somebody's gonna pop through that door right to my side. Game, I already know it's gonna happen. Don't even pretend. That that's not exactly what you want to do. Okay, this person still doesn't know we're here. They're like, oh, we saved their life. You're welcome, person who stands right there. Don't detect me. It happened. I heard that I heard somebody using a door. Where? But where? Oh no, they've been alerted! Oh my god, I thought we saved them. We got cover here, right? They want to make a move? They're making a move. Okay, they do know we're here. No gun. Ignore them. Ah, fine. You brought a knock gun to a gunfight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, oh, we're getting double teamed here. Can I shoot this person in time? It's a tie. Break line of sight. Okay, John, you did not break line of sight in time, but you got away with it. You took a weird route there. It's fine. It's fine. Stay where you are. Okay, so what's the move here? We got two guys closing in. They're literally, like, both about to come into view. We can get this guy first, though, I think. Am I wrong? Okay, get the guy who's close first. What is his chance of hitting me? We can get our first shot in just before he can. And here's everybody. Now they're spamming us with dudes. Okay. We're also running low on bullets here. I guess that's probably the least of my problems, but... Take down. Take down here. I'm gonna get shot. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna survive this. Take down and throw gun. He's dead. Oh man. It's when we get in real trouble when they drop a bunch of guys on us at a time. So we've we've really got to try to position ourselves to only be taking out one or two guys, only be tangling with one or two dudes at a time. 
Um, and I guess part of that is going to be when we're like near a spawn point or when we're about to make a lot of noise, we've got to make sure that there's somewhere for us to duck away into. So like there, we were not, you know, we were super exposed. There was nowhere for us to go. Even though there were only two guys, once they started dumping guys on us, we were just caught out in the open. So we gotta, we gotta avoid a situation like that. Oh, this person sees me this time. Reset, reset. I didn't know that was gonna happen. They see me? Uh, move towards this guy. Take down and move here. So if somebody here was alerted to our presence, we broke their line of sight. I guess we just gotta shoot this person before they see us, right? Just take them out. Cause we can we can fight from this room, I feel like. Like this room gives us a lot of a lot of options to hide. We've got a big thing in the middle, we've got we do have two doors, but uh, you know, on the other hand, we have two doorways. Hear more guys coming. Take him down and keep moving into this room. Although I don't like having this big sight line here. But I don't think we have much of a choice. Okay. I might try to dip back into this room again. Okay, well we can't stay here. It's not good odds to hit this person. Okay, yeah, get behind this thing and duck. We're pretty safe here. Pop this person as they come through the door. Duck. Wait. Huh. We're gonna need to do bandages after this too. Just do... I have no bandages. I have bandages. Oh, I can't do bandages while I'm crouching, I guess. This person sees me. There's two of them. I did not know there was two of them. We're about to... Yeah, there's nothing we can do. We just gotta eat this. I just didn't know that guy was there. Okay. How are we gonna beat this boss? I, I worry a little bit. So the thing that I can't tell is, I don't know if the enemies are spawning infinitely, right? So I'm not sure if we're just supposed to try to beeline through here and get to the boss, which is kind of what we did on that first run, or if we can like exhaust all of the enemies here. Because what I really don't want to happen is enemies spawning and coming in the back door while we're trying to fight the boss in here. Seems like an absolute nightmare. Because we're going to be throwing him all over the place. We're going to be not thinking about cover very much when we're fighting him. Uh, if we can avoid it. No dude here this time. Am I spotted? I also don't know when we mark people and when we don't. Because like sometimes we can see people even though we're even though we don't have line of sight to them. And sometimes we can't. Maybe we have to see them for the first time, and then we track them after that? It's not quite clear what the mechanic is there. I, I guess that's probably what it is. But oh, that person has no gun, right? So we're not... I mean, we are worried about them, but we're not as worried. Just take them out. We got the shot. Anything I can do here. I can try to be moving. I could crouch. He still got me. Ah, even though I broke a line of sight, he still got me. Bit of a bummer. I guess we didn't do it in time.
Yeah, I just don't know. Oh, we got no gun now, too. Throwing the gun. Big mistake. Throwing the gun is, is like our little vanity move. We shouldn't do it. What are you guys going to do? Don't spawn in more dudes. Yeah, so the thing is, like, I feel like we got to do something to keep more dudes from... Because, like, this situation is tough, but it'll be a lot tougher if somebody spawns in behind us here. I think we just got to proceed through. Uh, see, there's a new person already. Shoot. Okay. Crouch. <laughs> Too slow on the crouch. Okay. What can we do? Is there something very different we could do here? Like, maybe we try going through a different route? It feels like being in these rooms is good. Feels very strong. But maybe if it means dudes are spawning right on top of us, maybe we'd rather try to be far away from everybody and go the other way. Let's try it. I have no idea. It's just a theory. There's a guy here. Does he see us? There's a guy there too. They don't see us yet though. Is it time to go loud? Or do I want to get behind the bar? This feels like a, a good spot to be in. One. Wait for it. Got him. Okay, that worked. Our gun is almost empty. If we can get to their guns, that would be awesome. But their guns are kind of right in the middle of everything. That's a bummer. It's got to be a throw. We got no more bullets. Oh, yeah! Oh, my God. The gun throw actually did something. We aced him. This person has no weapon. That's good. However, neither does this person. Okay. Is it is it brawling time? Amazing! Ah, oh, so rewarding. Wait for it. Pick up the gun. Pick up the more different gun that has more bullets. Okay, John, what do you think? We haven't seen that many dudes, though. I'm worried. I'm worried that they're, like, waiting. So maybe those dudes are only spawning if we, like, go over here, though? I feel like, I don't know. Because we've seen, like, four dudes this time total. Maybe more than that? No, I lie. I tell a lie. We've seen f six dudes. Okay, maybe that is a lot of dudes. Show yourself. Boom. Time to go in? Let's do it. And get the nerd right away. Good. The nerd has been gone. Break a line of sight. Well, I don't want to fight this guy out here, though. We want to fight him in his little den. If we can. More dudes are spawning in. Hate to see it. Do a takedown that takes breaks the line of sight. Shoot him. Good. Good beginning. Good beginning of this fight. However, shoot him in the back. Good. I think we can just nail him before... We are out of ammo, though. Throw the gun. Oh my god, the gun throw working again. I've, I've maligned the gun throw unfairly.
You gotta take down and get me to cover. What happened to me? This is a nightmare. How do I get out of this? Uh, okay. We do a push. We got the super push, right? The super push was not the one. <laughs> oh, we gotta get through this mission. Let's do it. Let's try going... Making our way up to the bar again. That felt like it worked okay. So what are we gonna do? What is the fix for... When... Tons of dudes just keep spawning in... In that room. I guess we gotta just... When there's... You know, we kept taking extra shots. Can you use them as human shields? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, can we can we put people in the middle of line of sight? The other thing is, like, I got a little greedy, right? We did two shots on that guy as he was leaving. We should have just let him leave and used those two shots to take out the minions. I think we got to keep... We got to do more crowd control during the fight. Oh, look, it's more different this time. I do still want to be behind the bar. I think that's the winner's choice. Wait. We got him. Good. Anybody else here? Somebody way over here, apparently. What are they doing? Just hanging out? Just chilling? Well, I can't have that. Do you know if there is a reskin? If this is a reskin or part of a series? This seems pretty good for a movie video game. I don't remember. There's some story to this about why this game exists. But yeah, it's... I, I'm not sure how we ended up with with John Wick Hex. It is, it is pretty good and pretty different than you would expect, right, from like a typical movie tie-in. I can't remember though, I, I've read it before, that it's because it's like a pretty small studio made this too, which you might, which you might guess, but like, just based on the, you know, the graphical style and stuff. I don't know, they were, I guess, the license holders were uh, were brave. They, they, they let them go a pretty different direction than you'd usually see from a movie tie-in game and do a very stylized thing and have it be a turn-based, you know, strategy game. I think it paid off. Okay, this person I hate. I hate that this person is just hanging out over here. Should we just do the boss fight? Should we start it? No, don't do it. Here they come. And there's somebody over here too. Okay, let's try to get to the bar. Bar is, bar is life. We love bar. This person has no gun. Noted. We don't have to shoot them from here. I want to see what this person on the left has. This person has no gun either. Show yourself. They've got a gun. No way we're going to get him in time. Good. I think we do actually want to thin this out a little bit. Even though this person has no gun. I don't think we want to try to melee two people at once if we can avoid it. Or being in melee with two people at once. Okay, they got seven bullets over here. Wasn't there one more person? Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe these are the three. Okay. See if we can aggro whoever loves to come out of this door. There they are. Perfect. Good shot, John. JK. Lamau. It was terrible. <laughs> Got him. Throw it. Fantastic. Oh, man. That guy always dies to having a gun thrown at him. That's his weakness. No gun. The action movie with Piotr Bizzle where every minute you just retreat back to the bar. Oh, yeah. And Noodle says, I'm dying of boomer cringe. Why? Because of the way we're playing this game?
What's, what's... Hey, Lamau, got him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. Lamau was cool when I was a kid. Rafflecopter was hilarious. You just don't know. Look how many dudes live in this door. Stop living in there. I gotta fight a guy here. You're all gonna come out of this door while I'm trying to do that? Don't do this. Do they really just spawn infinitely? I'm kind of worried that they might. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that gun is the same as my gun. I, I guess they do. There's so many. I hope not. It's a bit of a bummer if they do. Let's get the gun with slightly more bullets. It must be. Okay, so we just gotta we just gotta go do the boss. Cause this is never gonna end. Apparently. God damn. No. Bandage before we go in. And there's another one! Boo! Well, now my gun's empty. Maybe we can go in this little side door instead? Because this is stupid. We're going in the side door. That's an illegal move, apparently. I'm not allowed to do that. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Yeah, they clearly do spawn infinitely. I mean, do I go get his gun? I guess I gotta. Please, no more infinite spawning enemies, game. I'm begging you. This is like a clown car situation. How many dudes are in that closet? Uh, hello. Guy who's standing right there. Okay, take out the minion first. Ignore him. Can we... Throw gun? Ow. Do a takedown. To here. And then we gotta pick up the gun. Pursue him. Shoot him in the back. We got him once. This gun is more full. Go get it. F me. Oh, F you guy coming in the back door that was locked before. I don't think we can do this. I think we're, I think we're, we're in a pickle for sure. Well, he's not going to get a shot at me yet. I just, I don't want to be tanking the bosses. We can shoot him first, but it won't stun him, right? Take down this man. We gotta get the little minion when he spawns. And we also gotta wait by the door to melee the boss. Break line of sight. Come on in. We got him. Strike him. I can't take him down. Strike him. Check him again. And again. Shoot him. Strike him again. Save the bullets for the minions. Am I damaging him with the strikes? I forget if that's one of the rules of the boss, that he doesn't hurt, get hurt by melee attacks. Boom! F you. Oh my god. I was tricky. That took a few tries. <laughs> oh, good. Was it rewarding? Woo, yeah, we did it. I don't feel very rewarded by that. I feel like it feels a little bit like it was a numbers game and we just had to try that. I don't know. I don't feel like I got better at the game. Let's see the replay. We'll, 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 let's break it down. Okay, John Wick goes in. 
redhead guy with a top knot, absolutely decimated as he should be. We go behind the bar. I'm safe here, says John Wick. Let me miss. We got him. Here comes somebody with no weapons. How many guys are we going to kill on the stairs? We can count it. One. Wait, this replay feature is dope. Oh, it is really cool. Yeah. I'm a big fan. It's a little silly because he walks on a hex, on hexes. Like he's always, when he tries to walk in a straight line, he zigzags all over the place. But it is pretty cool. Wait, that wasn't it. <laughs> Two, throwing the gun. Three. <laughs> Four. He's like trying to leave. Five. I love how nonplussed all the guys who are running at you look. Everybody's very chill. Maybe too chill. Six. Count it. Count it is dying on the stairs. He had like a foot there. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh my goodness. He's like, please, I want to go through this little side door. I'm not allowed? Ugh. Ten. I don't think that's even the last dude. Okay, here comes the boss fight. We're doing it. Shot the guy in the back. Uh, by, I mean, the guy who was standing in the back. We should have shot the... Oh, we didn't have the gun then, right? Because we threw it. Got one hit on him there. Stupid idiot opens the back door like a nerd. Guess what? Guess what's coming to him? Good. Right. This is this part <laughs> where it's like, wait, did the melee attacks not hurt him? Boom. Oh, oh, it was fun. It was fun. It was. It was very, very tough. In a little bit, I felt like I just got lucky in the end. Slap fight. Hey, trees roll. Thanks for the light snacks. Um, yeah, a little bit, little bit of just slapping them over and over, hoping that something will change. Well, we'll tell you what. Let's um, let's call this here for now. We're right at the end of the stream, right? That's perfect timing. Uh, and we we did like a nice cool thing. John Wick Hex. I don't know if we'll come back and play more of it on stream, but it it it, it, it I'm very interested by this game. Um, yeah, we'll put it in the back pocket. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll come back and play this game. If we ever run out of Hades to play as like a, a plug-in just because we want to play something random game. Uh, however, for tonight, let's go to the uh, calendar real quick just to wrap up. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Oh, I'm excited. Cool. Yes. So this was New Game Wednesday. I thought we were going to check out Pathologic 2. Uh, Zeldaria reached out and they said they weren't going to be able to make the stream. They were really excited to see this. So we pushed that to next week. We'll, we'll play Pathologic 2 next week instead. Um... In, uh, tomorrow, though, we are going to start another new game, as it turns out. We're going to start a new main game. Uh, that'll be Scarlet Nexus from 8 to 10 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, yeah, this is an anime fighting people, Devil May Cry-ish. Devil May Cry is probably too strong. Third person, fighting them, beating them all up, flying through the air. We're cool psychic anime people game. Again, <laughs> that'll be Scarlet Nexus tomorrow from 8 to 10. Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. If you watched any of this live tonight, thank you so much for watching live. Thanks for hanging out as we just just iterated and iterated on that John Wick fight until we discovered the bar that makes us invincible. Uh, and if you watch this as a recording or on YouTube, thank you so much for watching that way too. And until next time, I will see you later.